Hello there Cancerian, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sense of Healing Tarot, and thank you so much for being here. I do hope you are well. May all of your dreams be realized by you, my darling. So, these are general tarot card messages for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I appreciate you, Cancer, hitting the like button, sharing the message with those you love, and for being a subscriber to the channel here. Thank you so much, and I hope you continue to support as we grow together. So Cancer, general messages for you um, as it relates to this Ace of Pentacles, which feels like a reward that's coming into you. So this Ace of Pentacles is inheritance, abundance, multiplication of money, but I also like to say we're not just talking about money because what is most important is the energy that you think money will bring to you. A well-being vibration, okay? Wealth. Wealth is that unending flow of everything just being prosperous in your life. So I feel like for some of you, your, your unending flow of wealth and prosperity had blockages and clogs and debris, especially in the mind, especially mentally. And this affects the action that is taken either from you or from your, the energy that's put, um, from the money frequency coming toward you. Yeah. It's like, so, so something wasn't lining up. And I hear a portal. Extreme. So something was not lining up. You know what I mean? It's like you're supposed to be connecting to the abundance here, all of this well-being, but there were little obstacles in the way and we're, we're shedding them, shedding them little by little. So for some of you, you're seeing money coming into your life now. Uh, and it's increasing because I feel you're actively working on removing the obstacles. And I feel, as I say, this is especially mental blocks. The Ace of Pentacles was further clarified by the Star card. Okay? This energy is giving me destiny. It's giving me birthright, vibration. That's wealth, which is your birthright. It is the energy of every... You belong in a family that is wealthy. And each person inherited their share of wealth but did you receive your share of wealth you know so as i because the ace of pentacles as i mentioned cancer is inheritance so you're supposed to inherit the star card is also the card of loss as much as it is the card of healing of hope and restoration it's the card of loss so uh, maybe someone was stealing your energy in the night maybe your dream your true gifts Yes, because your true gifts are what's supposed to bring in that wealth, your true potentials. It's as if someone was taking your gifts from you at night while you sleep, draining your, it may be your creativity out of you because these energies are real. I'm not sure how this is being done, but it was done behind your back. As if these people or this entity, whatever, just came in. Hooked up a what? You know the energy of taking gas out of a, a, the gas tank of a car? So this is the energy in which they're taking the energy while they're sleeping. They secretly come, put in this nozzle, and, and, and they're taking your gas. This person is literally taking your gas, which is your energy. Who's the star? I just don't feel like clarifying the star card now for you to know who is taking the gas. I think what is important mostly is to know that it is returning. Who is returning it? Could be the law. Could be your intuition, your spiritual family. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. This is clean, pristine. Ooh, queen. The Queen of Pentacles. I mean the Queen of Cups. We may be seeing the Queen of Pentacles soon. The Queen of Pentacles is a clear-minded, focused, driven person. The Queen of Pentacles we're talking about. Not, not 
cancer right not not earth not cups i'm just trying to figure out why i said queen of pentacles just now so the, remember even in other readings receiving this because the queen of pentacles actually holds the pentacle this pentacle in her hands like the queen of cups she's holding the cups the queen of pentacles holds the pentacles so i called you the queen of pentacles um just now but i so i feel like you you have received it's like it's telling me you are the queen of pentacles you ha, you are the receiver of the pentacles it's not even me talking i feel like it's the energy of of the elves and the spirits it's almost like that that are acknowledging you as the queen of pentacles they see it's almost like the spirit world already acknowledge you as being the recipient of the pentacles you're the queen of pentacles whether you're male or female the queen energy in card um in opposition to the king just talks about the feminine and the masculine divine energies one is more salty than the other you know so even if you're incarnated as feminine you still have masculine energy if you're masculine you do still have feminine so we're talking about on a subtler side which is because we can't you know masculine energy go get her driven focused work hard success driven feminine energy more laid back receiving you know so I feel like you're in receival mode now with the, with the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles energy that came out in vibration. The Queen of Cups is also receiving. You're receiving information, knowledge, truths. Ooh, downloads. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, what's that? I feel, I just felt a while ago, like you're getting downloads about the person that stole from you. You're going to, like, you're going to get some insights about who this person is that are this situation that was taking from you but that energy is kind of fading fading away because maybe it's me yeah yeah but you're kind of <laughs> cancer i feel like you're upset do you want to know who this person is that's been stealing from you you're upset you're in kind of queen of swords mode the devil capricorn virgo taurus You know what? The devil. So uh, anyway, we're seeing that something is going to be restored unto you. But the devil energy feels like you're the queen. And the devil is the one that we would say would be the peasant energy. He feels lack. He feels cheated in life. So he goes around robbing others. That's the energy of this person that was stealing from you. They feel they felt like their vibration was lacking. They looked at you as the queen and was probably upset, you know, when it comes to wealth, that you have it all. But Cancer, they don't know you. They don't know you. They don't know you. You know what I mean? They don't know the work you do. They don't, they're not living the life of this queen in this castle. They don't know the, the daily operations. This is the energy of a queen that's running a kingdom, whether you're male or female. And you have so much to do. It's like you're running a country. And it's not easy. You, you love your job. That's why you come out as the queen of cups. It's not about money. It's about the work that you do every day to serve, to provide healing and well-being. So... You know, I just got the energy of you getting home from work. But it's not work because you work where you live. But you do go out, queen, to serve. Getting in, throwing the bag down on the bed because you're tired. You do work. And then come to find out that someone has been stealing from you because they think that you have more than them. So I feel like you're going to try and find this person. But the thing is, no, Cancer. When we find out who this person is that's been stealing, this Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, devil energy. Remember, the person might not necessarily be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They may just be, they have that, those qualities. Maybe someone who works hard, who likes to go out, who is that's the opposite of Cancerian, really. Um, you may find that this person's, even though their motives or their intention and their mindset was to maybe harm you, to steal from you. 
you may have mercy or pity upon this person because you are divinely connected, you know, emotionally, intuitive. You may see that this person is not necessarily a terrible person. I feel like this person has been through it. And I do, oh child, mm, this is coming in like a story. You two are meant to be together. As if this person was meant to take from you, Cancer, so that you could meet this person, so that you could stand up for what you believe in and defend yourself, protect your honor, protect what is yours. And this, this situation is causing you to search for this person that's been stealing your energy. Because you know how you know that your energy was stolen? You felt it. You felt the absence of it. It's as if you were just, you, something done and you one day like, I can feel like something is missing. You know? So you started to explore this, to trust this intuition more. Like, I feel like something is off. Come to find out it's this person that's been stealing. So now I say you were supposed to meet this one because both of you are supposed to teach each other lessons. I feel you're supposed to teach this one about work. Hard work. And this one is going to teach you something about your heart space. Or humility. And it's not that you're, you're not humble. It's more like it's something it's gonna pull your attention to the needs here because you don't want to live in a world like this and as one that's a creator can say you're about to fix this embezzlement you're about to fix this tell me more about the star taurus virgo capricorn earth sign hmm this person has been taking from you and selling it or using it for taking what's yours and giving it to other people. Are they giving it for free or are they selling it? I'm getting in one in, in some cases, this person is selling it like for cheap, your energy, cheap, cheap on the road. No, this can be your money or your valuables. This can be your time. This can be your loving, your emotions. They're taking it and they're giving it for cheap. Your advice, your spiritual intelligence is like this person comes to take from your, as I said, it's like they're taking from your dreams, your memory, your emotions. Oh, this person may know how to get into your pockets or your thoughts. So it's like they may be bandoozling your, your, what is yours, what was rightfully given to you. But the Ace of Pentacles still stands as you receiving this prosperity because I feel like Cancerian, the end of the story is the Ace of Pentacles. It's like this is how it ends, the prosperity, the success, the new life. It's like life after death. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, you know, when I watch The Lord of the Rings, right at the end, when um, life begins to restore itself across the lands, you see the flowers beginning to bloom or to grow, birds coming out. This is the energy of that kind of prosperity. That's how the story ends for you. It's so beautiful to see you like standing in the sunshine, in abundance, receiving well, feeling happy, feeling clear. It's not even like I can see it clearly now. The rain is gone. It's just I am clear. And I'm happy and I'm thankful. Yeah, it just feels like you have a lot to be thankful for. You feel wealthy. That's the Ace of Pentacles vibration. So this person, they thought you wouldn't find out embezzlement. They thought you wouldn't know. But you see this clearly. This person just thinks that you have it. You have more. This person could be a family member too or a friend. I'm going to ask, because I want to know. Please help me, Angel Spirits, guys. Two of Wands. I'm not sure if this is the card I want to see yet, but we'll let, ex let us explore. A dream. Dream dream again. Oh, what's that? It's the, the person that's been down in, on their luck or something. And they've, they've been taking from you and selling to start to build themselves up again. This person can tell his family. Maybe not. Friend, co-worker, 
spouse, business, relationship. Your dreams. Maybe someone you work with. Wrong decision. Wrong decision to what? Maybe you feel like you made a wrong decision. What is the five of swords? Your destiny. Maybe having to do with a king of cups. A person or your home or your comfort, your peace of mind, the bigger picture. Twin flame. Maybe someone is feeling they made a wrong decision. Okay, Air, um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who feels like they made a wrong decision? Wrong decision to steal from Cancer? Oh, so this may have been your partner then. It's as if you may have shared your goals or your dreams with this person or just to tell this person about your wealth. Because you trusted them or told this person about your dreams, your intuition, your visions. And you trusted this person. But I feel like they were low-key feeling deprived or lack. And they took what you were giving to them and they went out and gave it to someone else as if they were selling it. It was like selling. They didn't know what they were doing to you. Even if they were just telling people the information you gave to them as if it was their own. It was literally chart changing you and undervaluing the worthiness of what you are giving to this person because they didn't see it as valuable. So they took it and used it. It's like exploitation of what you have. Yeah, this person committed some foul acts. So the truth will come out. I feel, you know, material success and abundance is yours, my darling. This is sun energy in tarot, the three of pentacles. Like I said, I feel at the end of the day, you're going to be prosperous. The two of pentacles. I feel soulmate energy. Someone wants to talk to you. I feel I'm going to do a love reading after this. Because it's like someone hurrying me up. Like, can I talk to Cancer now, please? Like, can you get off the phone so that I can talk to Cancer now, please? I've been waiting. You know, I, I've been waiting. You've put me on hold. <laughs> can I come in? Can I come in and talk to Cancer? Someone that's hot for you, I feel like. It's someone you are attracted to as well. Probably a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this is yourself. We're going to do a love reading. Maybe this is you just wanting to connect with your soul. Your own spirit is calling me to do a reading for you. So we'll see what that wants to say. Your money is looking fine. Okay, you see the amount of pentacles all here for you, my darling. You're restoring it because you found the truth. You're restoring the balance of your financial situation and your well-being because you found out the truth. It's personal. Maybe they are the one that the one that will be giving it back to you, but I feel it's more in the hands of justice. You know, they will be giving they could be giving it back to you in other ways. Like they may decide to work with you. We see the two of pentacles. Someone may want to work with you, or you may decide to work with this person for the better good, the greater cause. Like I was saying, this this situation may help you to realize an even greater vision. Even more work, cancer that you have to do, more areas that needs healing because of this person coming into your life and taking from you. And you have the capacity to heal this. This person will listen to you. I'm, I'm telling you. It's not that you should let your guard down and trust immediately. But I feel like this person is willing to be guided by you. Because you have this. You embody a leadership um, demeanor. You, f you feel like you know what you're talking about. Like you have faith. You talk with confidence. With power. With focus. You know, so you, you're maybe you're sharing your idea with this person, telling them, I feel like you're also being very truthful about the plans that you have, letting this person into your world. Yeah. I feel like they're going to come around for you. I was clarifying what you're looking at, something that you've lost. So, may, so maybe this is a person that you once were connected with and you moved on from this person, a wrong decision. And, um... 
maybe someone was too caught up in work working on themselves working on their mental clarity all of that but now this person comes back around and you're seeing you have more clarity of how you can work with this person but that's it for your money reading my darling Ooh, no 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 let's clarify some other let's clarify the queen of cups yeah you're not upset really anymore i feel like you've thought about it you know you know your abundance because you are the queen of pentacles as well but right now you're in queen of cups mode where you're more compassionate i feel like looking into this you've thought about it you have some new ideas some new feelings even though you're not really pleased that people would do this to you of course it's gonna make you set more boundaries within yourself but it's also going to open up your heart your mind and your spirit what is a ten of pentacles ten of cups so that's happiness that's dream come true these two tens are beautiful to see in this money reading i feel like you're going to make other people's homes happy it's almost like this christmas cancer you're about to go around to other people's house and give gifts make other people happy oh that could be it because the people that were stealing from you they felt like they were in lack vibration but maybe this is inspiring you to reach out more to those that are in need maybe you're seeing because it feels like you've been asking god like god how can i serve more what can i do the birds agree and then this this is why it presents to you you're getting the, the answer that you need like this is what i can do to serve more yeah you're going to make others happy cancer you're going in other people's homes and i feel like you're making them happier and i feel like that's how you're going that's how you get your abundance back that's that's really how this is restored even by you giving you giving even though you've lost it's like you didn't even lose anything i told you you're connected to this unending infinite amount of wealth that's what wealth is wealth is unending potential and you have the code to dive into these potentials to figure things out you may be a math genius you may you may be into financial things financial accounting i don't know you are maybe establishing a business now working on your business something as i say working on a new project setting up something new all right how far are we in this whoa all right cancer so 23 minutes so i'm leaving these messages here i do hope you found some hit the like button that resonates with you and is able to help you on your journey if you did um like the video share it with those you love press the share button and share the video with your groups your whatsapp groups and your other social media groups and thank you so much i appreciate you it feels like a message is coming in about something having to do with your family i'm not sure what it's going to bring if it is good news It's something maybe some old family members coming around is the energy of a lot of people being together family even some old family members you haven't seen in a while maybe some you had arguments with so you know it's like that energy of some people you don't talk to some people you don't talk to as much and but all of you have to be in the same space and why is this happening for what? Three of cups. Oh, nine of cups. It's like a soiree, a party, a celebration, service, emotion, a reading. Uh. Mm.
I feel something has ended. It's a celebration of something that has efforts that have been invested, have paid off the magician energy. It is giving me the same energy, the same vibration as Lord of the Rings when everything has trans. This is giving me what is the wizard's name? Gandalf. This is giving me Gandalf vibe, a wizard that holds his wand up to the sky and uh, all of a sudden the, the place begins to transform and begin and, and and gets you know begins to prosper begins to get more beautiful <sighs> shit it's like something is it's the final it's done it's broken and this one has is calling it it's is 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 stating it it's done look stating it even to the earth my finger is wanting is pointing as I want to do this with my finger like it's like saying it's done buried put it to the earth like commanding the universe it's done it's like this one came out it's even in the spiritual realm to say something about your family it's done it's over tell me what this what is the tower energy the king of cups King of Cups. You know, Cancer, this is the energy of the hero that emerges from the fire, and you show yourself as the one that survives or has, or as the one that has burnt this place down. You know, I'm getting the energy of um, Django when. J when Django walked away from the plantation house and left it burning on fire. Or just any action movie that someone is walking away from the, a fire that they just lit. Like badass vibration. But here you come floating out, Cancer, after this um this ending. Emerging as what the victor, as the survivor, as the lasting. As the lasting. But I'm do getting the energy that people see you coming out of this, this chaos. Oh, maybe that's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> people see you coming out of chaos. Because I'm witnessing you walking out of this building. You know what I mean? And others are here seeing it too. Um, it's beautiful. And you look, you're confident whether you're masculine, masculine or feminine. But this is masculine vibration. Where you're more in charge. You're not docile with your emotions. You're leading. You're commanding. Ooh, talking about the magician. You're not commanding the, the, the what is it? The, the frequency of the environment that you're in. Your own emotions. People are responding to you. It's like you're parting the crowd as you walk through. You're no longer being a victim or you know your emotions are controlled by others i feel like you're powerful as you go through oh yes child all right that's that that's that beautiful 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 messages and then the death card which is cancerian vibration the ending the ending of cycles new beginnings coming through i love to see that after seeing the tower card because it's all, I'm telling you, this is like Lord of the Rings vibration. The death. If you watch Lord of the Rings, this looks like Lord of the Rings. If you watch Lord of the Rings, the two tower. And you know, it has all these death, death, dead people that come back to life to fight the final battle, the spirits, right? So this, it's, I feel like spirit and humans are working together now. And you, Cancer, I feel like you're, this is, this, this one, the King of Cups feels like a human. I don't know who this would be in Lord of the Rings. The human. Who was the human? Legolas, no, Legolas was an elf. There was a human. He had black hair. Right? He's the human. I don't remember what his name is. And he fell in love with the elf, with a fairy or something. So, anywho. So, the humans are, uh, are here. So, this feels like the spiritual and the humans and the victor success and it was like it's oh, i don't know what else to say so the death card is saying it's like you are bringing in this ace of pentacles 
See what I mean? It's like the death, behind the death, the death is bringing in this like, dun, 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 dun. but you are, you are the one calling in change, Cancer. Dun, 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 dun. See what I mean? The death card is Cancer in vibration, yeah? And then finally, we have the page of cups, Cancer's vibration, youthfulness, vibrancy, and expression. I'm young, sharing your message, having a spiritual gift. You're going to be receiving a message of some spiritual message. This could be me giving you tarot messages. That's not it, though. It's more like this could be, this could happen at the beach or somewhere where there's water, though. And it's a person that you're going to be standing up and talking to. I don't know what they're saying to you or what you're saying to this person, but it is happening in real life. Like maybe you're drinking something. So if you're not near water, you could be, you have a drink in your hand and it's like, uh, you feel the sweat off the cup. Just so there's water around you. Maybe that's how I'm able to get to, to you. <laughs> I find you in those way. Anyway, you're going to be talking to this person about something important, I feel. And this could be a person you're meeting for the first time and you guys just connect or you're sharing some similarities in how you feel about life and you're just really having a great conversation. Well, I don't know if I have to say a great conversation, but you're having a conversation and it's going to be meaningful. Hmm. Maybe this involves money yeah. or business. Could be someone wants to work with you. Maybe you're going to take this person's card. I just don't know where it's going to go after this. But this person, I feel this person wants you to connect with them. They want you to reach out to them again if that's the case. This person is really interested in working with you. And if you don't, they're looking forward to your call. You know, they have the plan in mind already. Right. So it's, it's mainly for cancer and to get on board with it. Okay. Okay. And make the time if you want it. All right. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Share. Subscribe. See you in the next one. Much love. Remember that you're all. All is within you. You can be, do, have everything and anything in this world you desire. Much love. Bye.